Hi there, just want to give you a quick update on my artichokes. This year I wanted to make a whole hedge of artichokes uh, along here because they are uh, from last year that from my experience it's um, looks like it's gonna be an evergreen bush and I thought it was really nice to just have an evergreen bush going this way um, kind of have like a little uh, winter cover you know because I have some some plants and some various things growing in the back and as they're changing now so I like to have a little green head so that it you know it doesn't show uh, as much of a um, brown stuff where most people usually don't like so let me uh, show you or update you on my artichoke hedge journey and this is zone 7b if you've been following uh, I'll give you a quick update on what they look like and what are some of the things that I um, want to point them out for you so this is in the morning uh, I, at the beginning of the year I started out thinking to have a hedge of artichokes this um, this hedge this line and I that my, an artichoke bush is about five foot around you know five foot tall five foot all around um, but I like it so much you know it's so easy to grow around here and I love artichokes so I'm looking for future years of many many artichokes flowers for consuming and the leaves too so I started all of these out from seed uh, except two plants are actually a full year actually one and a half year old but the rest are uh, not quite one year yet I just start these from March from seed and some of them are doing much better than the other uh, mainly because this year I haven't been tending them as much as I should I been neglecting them <laughs> pretty much um, but with the ne neglect thing uh, my part uh, this guy is still doing very well this is about a foot and a half a foot tall uh, still doing well and some of these are not very well but they still survive actually it died to the bottom but then the roots is kind of like a little bulb start growing so it's it will spring back up so I still have hope for these so my vision was to have all of these all filled up and become a hedge um, by this winter but plan is a plan so it didn't really happen um, so but one thing I found out about this plant is that during the summer I had this gorgeous flower um, of actually a few stalks of flowers and they're like really nice purple but then the leaves start to, to, to die out and it looks very sad uh, so I just, just I mean I felt a little sad about it I was like so this is only last one year but no actually um, after the flower die because I want to see what happened if I let it grow and you know want to see the experience so this is uh, the remnants of the old flower stalk uh, it's actually pretty ugly <laughs> and here we go this is the other part of it so it was giant it was great it was big and um, it died down and then let me show you uh, what is it looks like in the summer and here we are with the bush bringing back up I'll see all the little these are the roots oh these are the roots at the bottom where it's growing bigger and bigger underneath here and all the little snub here it's kind of like taro root or turmeric or ginger root kind of deal and um, they will start growing out more shoot so look at that like they shooting out everywhere there's actually a bunch of little you know shoots babies coming out and so 
I hope right now it's um, probably the end of it's actually the end of no October and we're going into uh, uh, November <laughs> I got my month. and um, the weather is kind of cooling down so they're growing very fast they're like a little cool and they grow faster or maybe they don't have to take care of the, the flower but the bush now is uh, one and a half years old and it's shooting out more shoot so I took uh, one, I took one shoot and I just kind of stick it over here to have because I started out from seed and some of these didn't really make it so I'm just filling in the spot and that's the one of the stalks that I just pulled out actually I broke it and I just kind of stick it down and it, it survives actually I threw out some seeds and they coming up too these are the baby artichokes actually right here too a uh, little seed baby already still sheet fell down or I threw it down and they coming up so I'm not sure if they'll be strong enough for the winter if they're gonna make it but this one um, from March so some grow at a different rate that one is a little bit different than this and that and that and that too this is also from March this one is a one and a half year old. That's also one and a half years old. So same thing happened here. This one is growing much faster and um, bigger because I think um, when the season changed, we got more shade. Actually, I got more shade coming from uh, this end. So this, this guy just happened to grow faster. And that one is out in the sun more and it grows slower, I guess, the losing the moisture under the ground. It looks moist over here, but it's pretty dry over there. So I think that's the deal. Um, but uh, it will grow. It will stay. And then another one just die. Um, something took it, actually. And this one, over the whole year, it's not doing very fast. I keep replenished, but, but that's all it's going to do. But I think for the next year, all of them should be very very uh, uh, full and become a, a hedge so my plan was to to have these hedge died out and um, be having this one ready but probably not gonna happen this winter you know plan is plan and you execute it and it didn't really work I guess I, I'm just have to work with I have to deal with it but at the same time I had so many garlic so I'm just started this garlic so hopefully this garlic give me some height uh, some greenery height and these are seasonal so I got some of those carrots over there I got some carrots in the front that has a lot of seeds so I throw them out it's, you know some greenery um, green uh, cat not cabbage um, sweet mustard and uh, green mustard so they will be pretty green over the winter and some cilantro so those will be keeping the area green not very brown and, and over the year i just plenish with grass clip grass and leaves to build up this soil and by the time uh, this is ready actually all the color is gone now it's supposed to be purple but they are looking pretty uh, faded out so so before the seed right actually they should be ready uh, before they dry it up and fall all over the place so next week I'm have to cut this down and hopefully these will be ready uh, to rise and cover up the back area where my lemongrass will be harvested this year. I'm going to harvest the lemongrass a little bit different than other years. I'm not going to uh, go ahead and go and kill them all. I'm just going to cut them to the ground. These are amazing. I'm sorry, this is about the artichokes, but uh, these lemongrass are ama doing great, amazing, you know, every single one of them. I give one stalk, 10 bushes. Each one got one stalk and they all grew like crazily awesome except that one not sure what's going on there 
too maybe but um eight out of ten doing super 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 great and um this year i'm gonna try to just cut them down and try to cover them up to see if they survive the winter and i don't have to um restart them again but even if i do by this time of the year i mean they they look awesome Thank you.